we're a small council in northwest Wales. There's probably around 3,000 or so employees. They're not all digitally connected because obviously we're a mixture of office workers, remote site workers, home carers, and, and the like. I'm Mark Davis. I'm the IT infrastructure manager at Isle of Anglesey County Council in North Wales. Like anywhere else, really, we've got a bit of a mixture of different technologies. So most of our workers have got uh, laptops. We made the shift from, you know, a mixed desktop and laptop estate probably around five or so years ago now, just because we could see that obviously there was going to be a, a more of an uptake in people working from home um, and working from other sites. So we thought, well, well, we'll bite the bullet now. And, you know, at the next sort of hardware refresh, we wouldn't offer people a desktop. They would instantly get a laptop back. Being able to utilize technology such as Microsoft Teams and Intune were fantastic for us, to be honest. I don't, I don't know how people will have been able to work from home without Microsoft Teams, especially. We pretty quickly shifted from what were previously, you know, on-site meetings to moving those over to use Teams, which meant that, you know, they could carry on having the meetings that they were having before, albeit not necessarily face-to-face as well as you know, having all of the documents for the meeting shared there that they could work on collaboratively, as well as you know, some external collaboration as well, you know, trying to explain to people that if somebody in a neighboring authority is on Teams as well, you can chat with them like you would people in the office, they can work on documents with you collaboratively. We're trying to have a, a bit of a culture change really, trying to move people away from sending an email for everything where you know, they can just have a one-to-one -one chat in Teams. You know, we just see that as a big efficiency saving. Our social carers and social services staff need to have um, telephone calls with uh, potentially vulnerable families. So we used Teams um, and gave the necessary people audio conference licenses and communication credits licenses so that those members of the public could phone into a Teams meeting at no cost to them and they could still have their you know one-to-one -one calls with potentially vulnerable adults and children without the need to be in the office. We're rapidly trying to move over to Intune, so Intune will become our remote working solution through you know, providing a VPN configuration through Intune. By using the capabilities built into Microsoft Intune along with Microsoft Teams, you're able to offer the end users the flexibility to choose their own device, whether that be corporate issued or a personal device, or while IT can have peace of mind knowing that the information that the users are collaborating on is well governed, protected and secure. Bytes were, you know, they were fantastic providing us with those workshops to let us know what we were eligible for in our licensing model and you know, going into great detail on each of them, especially when we made the decision to start to deploy Intune. We had quite a few workshops with Bytes where they, you know, sort of set the stage of what is possible through Intune, what isn't possible, you know, as well as you know, how easy it is, it, is it to replicate something we might already have in Intune, and et cetera, and th th those especially were really, really useful. Bias delivered an art of the possible velocity workshop, which gave them a good understanding of the technologies available uh, within the Microsoft 365 suite of products. This helps the, the customer visualize how you could potentially leverage services like SharePoint, OneDrive, Planner, the Power Platform, and, and many others, um, all of which are tightly integrated into Microsoft Teams, that central hub for work. The next sort of things in terms of the Microsoft solutions, like I say, will be to formally implement in June, which will retire our current remote working solution as well as our, our um, current method of deploying laptops and one of the other things we want to do is like everyone else really we're looking to explore utilizing cloud technologies a lot more so I think we'll be engaging with Bytes to say looking to potentially move workloads to the cloud as well as looking to have more workshops with them really to, to look at those sorts of things. <laughs>